Hey, what's up guys? I'm Phoenix Beer Owner 7, <coughs> and today, as promised, this is a remake of the Tekkit um, Computercraft Password Protected Door. Uh, right, I'll show you how it works first. Uh, you come up, you type in your password. That's wrong, that one, don't worry. Uh, access denied. And you type in your correct password. And access granted. We, we're in our house. Redstone torch. Woohoo! Right, I'll skip straight to the code so that those of you who only want to see the code can see it. That's the code. Copy it word for word. There you go. Uh, the last video was low quality and, you know. Um, so people were making silly mistakes, you know, commas in places where it should have been a full stop, that kind of thing. No, I apologize, I am <coughs> I am ill. Got the man flu, <coughs> so my voice may seem a little bit different. Yeah. And I may be sniffing and well, not a lot. But there you go. That's the code. Um now I'll show you how to actually implement it. Uh so you built your house and then you got you you know you you have a space right next to your door, preferably either side, doesn't really matter. Uh, if you do it away, you'll have to have redstone that goes back round and under, you know, maybe under, whatever. So, you, you get your computer, you plop it down, you right click your computer, it comes up with this. You then type edit startup. And this will give you a blank program. Um, then you copy everything uh, that I had in the other program in the uh, I'll stick a, uh, yeah, I'll stick it in the description as well, so you can just copy paste it for those who are incredibly lazy and don't really care how it works. They just want it to work. Yes, I'm judging you, you bastards. So you copy it, stick it in there, then you press Control. Or well, actually, you know, you got your code in there. Blah 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 blah. Or well, that's not the actual code. Don't worry. And you hit save, exit, and then you type start up. This won't work because there's no actual code. Yeah. Yeah. But same thing here. So you've written out your code, you hit save, you hit exit, you type start up. Boom. Is it done? Now ready for your password. Which in this case is boobies. Woo! -hoo. Right. But for those of you who actually care. Oh, no, that's not what I meant. Sorry. Like I said, ill. Um, I will now go through the code. For those of you who just wanted it to see it work, you know, you've copied out your code, stuck it in, job's good, and you can now carry on with your Minecraft day. Enjoy. Thank you for watching. Um, if you did get it to work, which you should, because, you know, word for word, this, I'm actually doing this in Feed the Beast, by the way, but it is the most up to date version of Computercraft, so it will work with. Uh, tech it as long as they've updated it, which they, I, I believe they did a few days ago. Um, so this will work. If you have any problems, you know, let me know. I'll, I'll try my best. But usually it's just a minor typo. So just read through it carefully. Make sure you got everything as is. Actually, that doesn't doesn't need to be. Oops. Exactly. Like that. You know, it can have a space there. That, that's that's fine. Sorry. Um, but yeah, word for word, <coughs> and it'll work fine. Um, I will upload a video later on how to stop the control T from happening, um, if you're interested. But other than that, if you found this tutorial useful, thanks for watching, and yes, give us a thumbs up, it'd be nice. But now I will go through the code for those of you who are interested in how it works, not just that it does. Um, so. Here goes. I'll, I will do this very basically. Um, those of you who are here, probably watching this bit, probably don't have much um, computer craft uh, knowledge. You know, programming. You probably don't understand it. So I'll go through it. I'll I'll try and try and help you understand it. I'm a programmer myself, so I'll try and f forgive me. This will sound make me sound like a right dick, but I'll dumb it down for you. <laughs> So, here it goes. You got local side equals left. This line is declaring a local variable which is called side. 
that's, that's this bit here SID side and we are assigning it which is what the single e equals is the value of left so whatever's in these uh, speech marks will be uh, the value as assigned to it same goes for local password the variable itself is called password and we're assigning it the value boobies the next line is write password that's just a very simple function to uh, output something to the screen and what we're outputting is in between the speech marks so we're outputting password um, next line is local input now this is also declaring a, a variable but it's not really a permanent variable like the ones up top this one can be overwritten very easily we're calling it input but we're giving it a value of whatever is in the uh, whatever is called by the read and then the star which is wildcard uh, with lua which is what this is written in uh, it means the keyboard input so whatever is typed into the keyboard will be assigned into the variable called input very simple oh forgive me sorry uh, the next line is if input so this is a simple if statement you know whether or not if something's true so if input which is what we just assigned through the keyboard now the double equals is a check to check whether or not something is equal to something else whereas a single equal is just uh, assigning a, a, a value to a variable so if input is directly equal to password the variable then term.clear just clears the screen you know gives you a nice blank screen uh, write is the write output uh, access granted output. now this sets a redstone output to now you've got two um, two parts to this you got side and a boolean expression true or false so side is uh, left in this case uh, it can be right it can be back front and I, I don't know if it can be top and bottom that I don't know but so you can modify this if you choose to you know to output it to a different side just change your variable at the top but we are setting the redstone output to the side uh, which is left to true so it'll give us a short output to the uh, left side which is great but we need the door to stay open for a little bit so we can get through it so we do the sleep five now this will pause the program no matter what the output is it will halt it right there for five seconds you can change that to lower because I did realize five seems a little bit high but it works for me it gives me time to get through if you've got a little bit of lag you know gives you plenty of time so that will now halt our output um, the redstone output to the left for five seconds keeping the door open so when we're done with that redstone uh, RS starts set output side false that turns it off because obviously we don't want to don't want the door to stay open OS dot reboot is just literally it restarts the entire machine not your machine the computer craft machine I have had people get confused about that believe me it restarts the computer craft machine um, straight back as if you literally turned it off and on again um, which is good because we've we're editing the startup program which means whenever the uh, operating system the computer craft uh, operating system is loaded it will load startup always straight off the bat so right else this is part of the if statement so if it's not true then it will do this very simple term dot clear close the screen write access denied sleep for three seconds restart end you have to have the end on the end otherwise it's uh, it's not a complete script and that is that is the program it's very simple uh, basically you're setting some variables you know you're setting your password you're checking if the password is correct if it is opens the door if it's not doesn't don't, doesn't open the door tells you to you know F off get out of here and then starts again simple very very simple program nice uh, oh yeah um, you, you have to type the startup whenever you exit out of it otherwise it won't load but there you go that's your that's your that's your code you type in boobies press escape to get out of the uh, computer craft thing um, otherwise it'll, it'll just you'll just stay in there <laughs> but yeah there you go ah. now for those of you who have stuck around I'll give you a little treat how's this huh get a computer oops nope no, 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 no. get off 
time set zero. I'll show you something very cool. I'm aware this uses a lot of monitors, but trust me, it's worth it. Let's just get let's get a seat. Oops. Let's get comfy, and then if we type here, um, monitor top. So this will assign whatever I'm uh, loading to a monitor which it's looking for at top so above it monitor top secret slash a long time ago do 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 yes that's right motherfuckers star wars this this is with every uh every version of computer craft and yes it is pretty much the entire uh, of the, uh, I think it was episode 4, I can't remember now. <laughs> Literally just showed it. One of the episodes, uh, but done in ASCII. I forget who wrote it. Genius, they did. Um, and it's just a short, short, short version of the movie. But look at that. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Yeah, you can watch that yourself. I'm not going to do the entire thing because it's I think it's about 15 minutes long. But there you go, folks. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. If you did, a uh, like is always appreciated. Um, you know, helps my channel out. So, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed. It. Hope you find it useful. If you got any questions, let me know. And I will see you next time with another tutorial. Bye for now.